Not that long ago, setting foot on this ground could take your life. Dozens of mines were scattered around. In this episode of our Japan Special Edition, we went to Cambodia to see firsthand how Japan's support in the demining process has helped bring peace and safety to local communities. After the land was cleared from mines, this school was built. It helps children get the education they need in the community and it gives them a chance for a better future. This school is just one example of the tireless efforts the Cambodian Mine Action Center, CMAC, has put into raising awareness and clearing the mines. Decades of war have left their mark. D-miner Kang Soteara shows us some of the explosives. On this table, you can see the types of mines we find in the field. An anti-personnel mine, an unexploded ordnance, and an anti-tank mine. These deadly weapons lie dormant for years, even decades. One hard-hit region is Batambang, near the Thai border. Cambodia as a whole is one of the most heavily mined countries in the world. Around 1,600 people are at work to clean it up with the help of dogs, metal detectors, brush cutters, and demining machines. It's a challenging task for which Japan has been the biggest support over the past decade. This is a Japanese demining machine for anti-personnel landmines. It weighs 34 tons. With its teeth, it plows up the soil. Each of its teeth is 30 centimeters long. The team effort has paid off. So far, the organization has destroyed more than two and a half million landmines and unexploded ordnance such as bombs, shells and grenades. Boy, B, bye. In 1980s, Japanese real, uh, government and people really assist Cambodian to collectively work together to build peace, you know, no more fighting. We're very proud to see Japanese people have able to help us to stand up and walk by ourselves. Japan has not only provided equipment, but also funding and experts that pass on their know-how to locals. People like Kang Soteara, who's been working in the minefields for more than 10 years. Every day, the 31-year-old risks her life probing the ground for mines. At any moment, she could trigger an explosion. Once the detector picks up an object, I need to be very careful with anything I do. Especially when I dig and brush, I need to go very gently. And there's plenty more work. Cambodia is thought to still be home to millions of mines. Once a patch of land is cleared, it's handed over to local communities. Our aim is to uh, encourage this country to uh, be a free, democratic and stable society. The stability of Cambodia is important for the stability of the whole region. Since CMAC cleared the land, I don't have to be scared anymore when I work in my field and I can grow what I want. It's improved the life of my family so much. This land that was once deadly is now full of promise and has given people back their livelihoods. <laughs>